Welcome to the NFL Week 18, last week of the season, guys, and then we'll be turning our attention to the playoffs next week. Uh, the last week of the season is always um, a bit of a crapshoot. Uh, a lot of teams have something to play for. Other teams have nothing to play for. Um, teams are resting players. Some teams might only play guys in the first half and then start to pull them. Um, so tread lightly into the last week of the season. Really, our focus will be next week in the playoffs as we wind down this NFL season. Last week, we went a perfect 3-0, and um, took Cleveland to beat Washington on the money line. Green Bay and Seattle also both came through. Um, really no sweats last week. It was nice to have a perfect week for the first time in a while. Um, brings our season total to 43-29 and against the spread. We'll take it. Um, and now we look forward to week 18. Again, just trying to uh, make our way through this final week and then get ready for the playoffs. Um, this week, looking through the games, a lot of big spreads, big lines here. Um, again, a lot of it has to do with players or, uh, not playing for certain teams. Um, and so just have to kind of pick wisely here. Um, I have a few plays um, for you guys. First game, Minnesota at Chicago. Minnesota is a four and a half point road favorite. Um, this is a, a one that it's hard for me to ignore. A couple of things that... I'm not too thrilled about in this game. One is I'm taking Minnesota, as you guys uh, know how I feel about the Vikings this year. Uh, and then second, laying points on the road is not my style of betting. I'm typically um, looking towards betting dogs, typically, or um, small home favorites. But road chalk is not something I usually bet. And I'm laying points on the road with a team that I'm not particularly fond of. Um, but it's more of a fade on Chicago than a pick for Minnesota. I think we're getting a lot of line value here. This, I think, line was seven, seven and a half to open. Um, Chicago is a complete disaster defensively. They're one of the worst teams in the league. Offensively, they obviously can't do anything. Justin Fields isn't playing in this game. Um, so I don't know how Chicago is going to score any points. And the fact that Minnesota got blown out last week, you have to expect them to come back and, and win this game you don't want to be heading into the playoffs on a two-game skid. Um, Seeding-wise, it's not really going to make much of a difference. Minnesota's pretty much locked into the third seed, but I think the fact that they lost last week, they're going to play their starters, I would think, most of the game. And even if they pull them, I'm hoping that they're up by quite a bit of points uh, when the backups come in. And I think four and a half is a pretty short line against the Chicago team where I don't even know how they get to 14 points in this game. I know Minnesota's defense is bad, um, but... The Bears that literally have no weapons, uh, they have no quarterback. Uh, I think the Vikings, if I don't pick them and, and they blow the Bears out, you'll be kicking yourself. Uh, it looks really easy. Hopefully it's really easy. Um, I do like laying a rel relatively small number with the Vikings. Next game, Carolina at New Orleans. I have New Orleans at a, as a four and a half point favorite. They're three and a half in, in a lot of spots. And I think anything over a field goal, um, I do like Carolina here. Uh, both these teams were in... In it still last week, Carolina more so because they control their own destiny, um, and Carolina lost. Tampa Bay wrapped up the division, but I like the way Carolina's been playing, especially in the second half of the season. Um, they've been fighting every single week. They have a defense that can compete, as does New Orleans, but I think I also like the fact that Carolina can run the ball pretty consistently. And catching points, they usually play well, I find, on the road in these dome divisional games. Um, so I expect Carolina to, to hang tight in this game, maybe a field goal game, and I wouldn't be surprised if Carolina won this game outright. So I, I do like Carolina plus the points. Next game, Cleveland at minute, or sorry, Cleveland at Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is a one and a half point favorite. I've been pretty good with the Steelers the last few years in in betting for or against them, and I'm going back to the well with the Steelers uh, this week as a minus one and a half point favorite. Both of these defenses. Um, have been playing pretty well. Pittsburgh has been playing great defense for a long time. Cleveland has been pretty playing good defense the last five weeks or so. And maybe Cleveland's offense is a bit better than Pittsburgh's. They're definitely, you know, have a better quarterback, probably a deeper receiving core, really good running backs. So, yeah, I do like Cleveland's offense a bit more than Pittsburgh's. But I think the situation here at Pittsburgh at home is a small favorite. Um, Mike Tomlin trying to get his team to a winning record. Pittsburgh still have something to play for. I think that's enough to kind of get Pittsburgh. It's, it's probably going to be a low-scoring game. The Steelers have been playing to the under all year, you know, probably a 16-13 type of game. Both offenses haven't done much this season. 
Um, we were on Cleveland last week, and they looked great. To, well, they looked better. I wouldn't say great, but they looked better, especially in the second half. Deshaun Watson finally got it going. But I think this is a very good defense for him. This will be the best defense Deshaun Watson has seen in a couple of years. He's going to be under a lot of pressure in Pittsburgh. I think it's a tough environment for him to play. I, I'm sure the Browns will love to play spoiler um, in this divisional matchup. But I think the Steelers find just enough offense and probably win by a field goal. I'll take the Steelers minus the small number. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I like those are the three games I like. The Rams and Seahawks, I really wanted to bet the Rams plus the points. Um, but I actually lean, I'm, I know I've sworn off totals earlier in the year. I would take the Rams as a side. It's just hard for me because I don't trust their defense a whole lot. And I think Seattle will be able to move the ball pretty easily against the Rams and score some points. And also, I think because Seattle is one of the worst defenses, I know they played better last week against the Jets, but it was the Jets. I think the Rams with Baker Mayfield, these guys are, I think, are going to be motivated, still playing, you know, for jobs and for contracts next season. I think the Rams will be able to score points. This total is sitting at 42 and a half, and I actually kind of like the over 42 and a half. I think both teams can get to 20 in this game, and if both teams do that, this game should go over that total. So I actually lean over 42 and a half in the Rams and the Seahawks. Like, subscribe, comment, guys. Join the Patreon. Good luck in the last week of the season. Again, tread lightly. Really want to get focused for next week in the playoffs. We've had a great year. Um, and we want to keep it rolling heading into the final week. Good luck Sunday.